Hey folks, in this video, we're going to be talking about Apple's huge decision to transition from Intel's x86 platform over to their own proprietary set of ARM chips. Now, as a whole, this is an incredibly exciting transition because what it's going to mean is better battery life, better performance, and better yearly improvements no longer capped by what Intel can put out. Prior to this, Intel was basically the bottleneck for Apple's innovations in their products. And now they're going to be able to handle that all in-house and no longer be subject to Intel, which has had trouble innovating at quite the pace of the rest of the environment in recent years. Now with this is going to come a lot of great things. Better battery life will be a symptom, better performance, and possibly better pricing, but either way, the users of Apple products are going to have more bang for the buck. However, this giant transition from x86 to ARM leaves a huge question for everyone in the Hackintosh community. So many of us out there love for hobbies or for pricing, love to try and put Apple software on hardware not originally intended for it. This can be a fun hobby project, it could be intended to save money on rather than buying the Apple hardware at Apple prices, but no matter the reason, there is legitimate concern as to what this could mean for the Hackintosh community. I for one am actually relatively confident in at least quite a few years left of Hackintosh fun before things start to slip behind and look really old on Hackintoshes while Apple continues to update their software. One thing I know for certain is that enthusiasts are not going to disappear. And as long as there is a wide range and base of enthusiasts, Hackintosh is going to continue in some form or fashion. That being said, as this transition occurs for Apple, there will likely be a transition probably further down the road for the Hackintosh community. Especially in the immediate future, there's no real reason to worry. People have already managed to get Apple's new OS 11 Big Sur onto non-native, non-Apple hardware. Obviously, since Apple's going to want to update its product line going back years, they have OS 11 built to natively support x86 hardware. This will continue to be the case for a number of years into the future as Apple continues to update its own prior product line, which it doesn't want to go out of date, something Apple's very good at in iPhones, iPads, iPods even, and its Mac lineup. What this means is that there will, for a number of years at least, still be natively built x86 support for non-Apple hardware to take advantage of. Enthusiasts will still be able to, with relative ease compared to years prior, figure out ways to get Apple's macOS 11 and onward onto their non-Apple devices. Overall, I'm kind of stuck in the middle. I am always on the side of innovation and I'm really excited to see what Apple's product lineup looks like with its own native ARM chips in its computers. However, I'm also a Hackintosh enthusiast and I've loved having my own Hackintosh to take advantage of the Apple ecosystem without having to pay the exorbitant Apple prices. That being said, I can't help but be excited for all that's to come and I know that there's no real reason to worry, especially in the immediate future, about being able to get your Hackintosh running Mac OS. With all that said, thank you so much for watching the video. If you did like it, please like it below as that really helps me out. And if you do have any comments or questions, things you might wanna see in future videos, please leave those below as well and I try to respond to every one. Also, Please consider subscribing to my channel if you would like to hear more about my passions in tech and finance. So I wanted to leave this little segment at the end of the video just to thank everyone who has newly subscribed or has stayed subscribed over this past month where I haven't really uploaded. I've been really busy with work and life and I'm trying to get back into a regular upload schedule here. 
I really want to share my passions with you, but most of all, I want you to know that as a subscriber, you are so well appreciated. It really motivates me to see that subscriber count continue to going up, despite not having even uploaded this past month, and I really wanna be on that consistent upload schedule for all of you and for me to be able to share my passions with what is a growing audience. So with that said, thank you so much just for being you and for being a part of this community that I hope to continue to grow.